Hello friends, Resorty here with more of our Resorty is Bad at Battle Brothers playthrough. Uh, at the end of last episode, we leveled up our starting three characters in a kind of random way. Hopefully they're okay, we'll see. Uh, and now we're in the middle of a quest, I believe. We have to help some workers get back to a wheat field that was previously destroyed. Also, noticing here that our friend Gebard is pretty injured. He has half life or so, and he is having a pierced hand. Having a hole in the hand may not stop a determined fighter, but does make handling a weapon a bit more difficult. All right, I'm gonna throw him into the reserve so he doesn't go onto the battlefield. Cause I'd be so dismayed to lose Gebard. Uh, hopefully he heals up. It'll be a gradual process. Uh, let's go and see what the rest of the quest is though. And actually, wait. Also, Horik is dying as well now. Horik's when I want to die. He's got a cut artery. Temper being reserved, already been cut, leading to a massive emerging, and ultimately death if not treated out of combat. If survived, it's followed by severely low constitution due to loss of blood. Is that a permanent debuff? Uh-oh. But possibly Horik, my terrible dumb character, is even worse now. That'd be really, really awful. So, glad the pierced hand does not have permanent effects, where it seems the cut artery does. Alright, you go to the back line also. Eight remain. Okay, and so we're gonna leave for now, and I want my money. So, yep, found the workers' caravan. It's been a long journey there and back again, but it seems the wheat field is now about to get its legs underneath itself again. And to make sure the workers are safe, you start to return the trip, the return trip to Gunsbert for your pay. All right, money, 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 money. Will it fix right away, or is it a? We'll see. You enter Guntbert's abode and he waves you in. One man hands you large satchel of crowns. How do you know they made it? Guntbert of Nurian smiles sheepishly. I have many eyes and ears in this part. Even the birds talk to me. 200 money. Good job, team. Uh, do they now have wheat for sale? I was hoping they have wheat for sale with wheat fields repaired, but I guess they're not quite repaired yet. Then the items we have here, I'm going to go ahead and sell each to sackcloth. I don't see us actually ever using them. A little bit more cash there. Beyond that, our our pile of junk is our precious pile of junk. I don't don't really want to sell any of it. I'm sure we'll use it all at some point, or at least remember the good times. Hold on to these items. Okay. Uh, so did the wheat field get repaired? Actually, it is. As the wheat fields are all repaired. Oh, I bet the wheat fields uh, produce bread. That seems obviously the case. Uh, also, only a level two contract. No, thank you. Uh, I don't want to look at what it is, because I think if you look at what it is and then refuse it, it hurts your reputation, and I, I don't want to do that. So, yeah, bread here is just really, not really, really cheap, cheap a little bit cheap at 63 money compared to the 65 it's worth, but we have enough food for now, so let's get on the road again. And without a quest going, let's head to, I guess, back to these cities down this way. It is a bit of a walk to get there. Once we're here, we can end these cities more quickly. I think I'll be fine. So, two teeth in stock. We're not making any money on the road this time. Uh, we're not carrying anywhere. We're not carrying trade goods. We're just walking along and hoping the green skins don't notice us. All right, as we go here, see footsteps again. So, which will you be? Uh, okay, they're brigands. We just fought a group of brigands. That went okay. I'll see here a path of... It looks like bare footsteps. Those are ogres, some such. So, I'm gonna try to stay behind the brigands here. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Run away, I want no part in this. Okay. Brigands really are, oh, someone's fighting them. Someone's fighting them right now. Um, let's join the fight. Let's join the fight, friends. Uh, prepare for combat, your scout reports seeing the following, some brigand thugs. The first Felifestre company is fighting as well. This is the uh, Duke's own troops. Engage the fight. Hopefully the uh, local police don't mind the assist. All right, we are on the battlefield now, and I don't know from which direction we attacked. Okay, this is the retreat direction down here. I see the white flags. The combat is up top. I wonder if we can get some loot off this, or if we'll be seen to be the uh, beggars that we are. So that we have a whole bunch of allies, and uh, only five opponents remain. I want to go in kind of cautiously. I'm going to pass my archer's turns for now. And I'm going to actually pass my whole back row's turn, I think. Now, someone else got to move out there. Now, let's send our front row in a bit. Oh, we see an enemy. We see two enemies. All right, I moved my front row in a little bit too far there in that um, 
in that they can't shield wall after going forward. But hopefully these folks are distracted by what I assume are the local constabulary over this way. Okay, Archer Friend can now see someone, but it's out of range. What's your actual range, man? Your actual range is... Does not say. Wait, it has a range of six tiles. That's well beyond six tiles. All right, we're past your turn for now also. And then we'll move our shield line forward. And here we can almost shield wall. So it is four AP. So I think we want to move it forward one step next time. All right, Archer to the front. We're setting up for next turn. We unload a hail of arrows their way. Alright, poke guy goes forward also. Giant axe man. Okay, so there's fine. Alright, there, there are the uh, Duke's own troops. Hope they let me have the armor. Hope I can scavenge a bit here. Great. Alright, arch forward also. We still have a shot now, but just out of range. One out of range. I have to move the shield line forward again, but that'll be just fine. Alright. Step, step, step line forward. That's fine. All right, here we go. The next round. Don't run away. Air Blaster cannot run away. It runs away very, very bad. All right, so shield line, step forward a bit. And then we can do either spear wall or shield wall, but not both. So spears up. And now pass your turn the rest of the way. They really are focused on that knight. Battle Forged Knight. Untouched armor. Man, I want to recruit him, definitely. It'd be great if so. Uh, the enemy gets to come in and thwack him. Uh, there's a further line of them here, I believe. Uh, his armor has been wounded a bit now. We can see how real fighter fights, though. Okay, Ulfert's range is only to there. So I'm going to have Ulfert step to... Let's have him step out into the open. Uh, if he steps there, he can't shoot. Uh, no, it costs 3 AP to shoot, so yeah, we can walk there. And then take a shot. Oh! We're not helping anyone here. Okay. Uh, let's just reconstitute our line, I guess. So, that's your turn now. now I'm being a little, a little hesitant here. Maybe too hesitant, in fact. I just don't want to rush in wildly and get my, my men all killed, of course. Okay, I have moved there. He can't shoot now. So, step back again. Get out of the way. Night time. Oh, goodness. That knight appears to have reposted and then uh, attacked for the way. It's amazing. I want to be those guys when I grow up. All right. Spears up. And here and go well, here we can't spears up. Move so slowly. I wonder how I get more movement. Uh, how I get more action points. Um... Does not say what affects action points here. Definitely just nine of them for right now. But, should land there. Uh, giant Axe Man. If you go there, can you attack? You cannot. So, Giant Axe Man is a step forward one. He's a little cowardly this day, but that's fine. Oh, also, they have a, a Billman. Billman has a gigantic uh, pike of some sort. I bet he can attack across the front line with that. Man, I want this team. This is amazing. Also, one fellow's very confident. He believes we're doing some good work. I agree, you are doing some good work. Okay, pass your turn. Billman go. Yep, wow. Their archer's not arching, though, because I think he doesn't want to shoot across their, their line. We have one more archer to move forward and to shoot. Um, move to here. We cannot take a shot. All right, move forward and shoot next round. I swear we're going to help next round. <laughs> Alright, Volker, wait a moment. Uh, crossbow friend, reload and fire on. Well done! We contributed! Alright, that's your turn now. And then our archers. This one comes forward again and shoots in. Please don't miss and hit the guards. A hey, good job! And a miss. And a hey, a hit. You're doing good. Alright, now giant axe man. If you go to here, you can not giant axe man attack. It has six to attack. Oh, giant axe man, you're truly the worst. Well, let's walk on in. Um, yeah, we need in one more to hit this fellow even. So, I don't know how to use giant axe man when I have to walk into it. The AOE attacks only wait, wait, wait. AOE attacks only six. They're both six. So stepping only have five remaining. So, 
Um, even split shield six. So any attack with the giant axe is six. The giant axe might not be a good weapon. I might have come to that realization. Okay, they tried to stun the footman there and failed. Oh, but the arbalist said, have I got news for you? Uh, remaining there are uh, one very wounded thug and then the friggin' thug here is also very wounded. Uh, he tried to engage my uh, my axe man and, and failed. Good job, axe man. All right, so they're not gonna come engage us. If I walk to here, well, not enough left to do anything. So let's just pass your turn. And front line, move in. Pass your turn. Guards come help us, it's great. I'm excited to have the guards help us. I guess, like, this is a way in which the world seems alive, and I, I really like that. Uh, let's keep our line in place, actually. Uh, Billman finished someone off. That is that. That is that. Victory for us. Uh, we get no XP. Even the fellow who did some damage, the fellows did some damage, no XP at all. Uh, that's too bad. Maybe only the uh, side that begins the battle gets XP. Nor any loot. Wow. Maybe if you get kills. Maybe kills where it comes from. Will the guards appreciate our help, though? The guards say nothing. Well, I, I guess I'm glad that we didn't die. I guess I can say that. They dealt with the brigands. We, we get we get a good feeling in our in our heart for having contributed a little bit, but I do feel a fair bit ripped off. It was a fairly long fight for basically nothing. And we wasted arrows, too. What a shame, what a shame. Ah, right, made it back to the big city, though. And so, first things first, uh, it's nighttime, so the, um, the, the marketplace is shut down, unfortunately. But let's check the tavern and see. Uh, patrons say, bought me a scram sacks the other day from a traveling merchant. Real bargain, he said. Man's got to protect himself and his family, see. Now, is that a kind of axe or a kind of saxophone? scram a sax No idea. And I... I I'm going to go for one rumor. Death is part of life. The sooner you accept it, the more you can cherish your stay in the world. All right, now tell me something useful. Always be skeptical towards the nobility, my friend. You never know what the real agenda might be. Now, of course, feeling sunken cost fallacy-like feelings. I want to keep pushing the button, but we're going to stop there. All right, let's go ahead and camp out for the night. Maybe she get a contract first, though. Uh, Will and the Trade Master wants us to take a shipment to Felifesta. Watch the caravan. It's about a, about a day. You know what? Sure. One day of work, I'll do this. How many crowns? Uh, two crowns per person, and they're 110. I accept. All right. Um, I'm going to ask for some time to think about this, and I will accept in the morning. I just want to trade first. So, for our campsite out, morning is arriving. I don't know if it arrives at dawn or at morning. All right, morning now. Back inside and trade what we can. Uh, what do I want to trade? They wanted to sell this linen tunic. Big money. I don't think we need the buckler either. Uh, I'm not sure if we do. All right, off you go. And they have some fancy armor here. Wow, added leather tunic uh, for costs, worth 87, costs 113. Because it's so damaged, I think it's worth buying and then repairing up. So we'll go ahead and buy that. Our new fanciest armor, I think. Uh, I gotta be careful not to spend too much money, though. And then, other than that, the weapons they have here are a hooked blade. Agricultural tool adapted for use in battle. This pole arm has a hooked blade for striking over distance and pulling in targets. So this is the stand behind the front line and melee out kind of way of going. More fancy shields also. I like more wooden shields, I suspect. Uh, various nets and other good things. Looking for building supplies. The people in the northeast were wanting to buy building supplies. I don't think tools and supplies are building supplies, but we're going to repair this armor. I think we're going to go ahead and buy one more of these, but if we do that, we're down to uh, only under 500 money. That's feeling not so good. So let's, let's just hold off and keep this armor in reserve for now. I guess I'll get repaired right away. Uh, maybe we'll buy some, some tools a little later. I don't know if like 260 is a good deal or, or not so much. Well, let's go ahead and do this quest. I need to move my wounded people back to the front line so they're not wounded anymore. Hork's in good shape. Welcome, Hork. And then Gebbard uh, is fully healed up, but still has the pierced hand next one to three days. But I'm sure it'll be fine. 
Victor's hand just causes him to uh, have a worst melee skill. He can shield up. He'll do great. Gotta believe. Giant Axe Man. I'm still not sure about you, man. I'm not sure about you. Also, it is a case that Giant Axe Man's shirt is better armor, but only by 10 points. Better than nothing, though. Okay, good stuff. Let's go ahead and accept this quest. And sit back, relax, and enjoy the caravan going one day to Felfesta. So close by. It's right out here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, I don't think it's an ambush. Uh, While well, the company takes a short rest, we sit down to examine the wound where an arrow punctured our side not too long ago. It's been healing slowly and still aches we move too quickly, but things are getting better. Fritz the dog joins us, seizing the opportunity to talk to his captain. Uh, that's the way I see it. Nobody knows about the Balbars yet. Don't want to hunt ragtag bands of brigands through the woods forever. We'll have to make a name for ourselves first, a reliable sword for hire. Get things done, for Noble House takes notice. They'll want to use the company for far better paying tasks, I'm sure. He adjusts his weapon belt and then continues. Just we keep in mind, the High Lords are playing a dangerous game. You don't want to get on their bad side. Enough stories of people who cross them only to end up quartered and fed to the pigs. They have the means to squish even a company of sellswords. He pauses this a short moment and then adds another thought. The guildmasters and councilmen running the villages and towns, too, have a good memory. We depend on them to hire the company for now. Having some influential friends may also help us get better deals with merchants. Alright, I think we knew about this. We're already working on reputation with the green flag people, so... Let's keep that going. I wonder if I can see where the... They're right here. The factions and relations. Uh, I've been trying to help this fa uh, faction. And we're still just neutral. What? <laughs> what? Um, okay. Maybe it was a mistake to go for the House Niedergard because... Uh, this, the work we've done so far has not helped at all. Uh, these ones, Horum, the, 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 uh, and Brown Anvil people appear to be more ready to work with us because we killed a Hoggart. So open is what comes after neutral. Don't think it's a friendly. So, where are the Brown Anvil people? They are, oh gosh, where are they? Are they way in the north? I don't see any Brown Anvil people. Oh, it's Horum the city here. Oh, huh, how's this work? So the city of Horum is... It's, uh, it's under the green flag, but it's also a brown flag person. Oh, yeah, so the, the, the city there has two flags. One for the Brown Anvil and one for the green... I assume the green is the local ruler. But then why do other... Villages here have... Oh, I see. I see. Okay. So these are cities. Orem, Nuenreed, and Tiefenstadt are all cities that we are currently working on reputation with. We're doing the the, um, the missions there. That's great. Uh, House Niedergard is the local ruler. Now, I'm guessing if we get friendly with these cities, then Niedergard will open to us more fully also. Hopefully. We'll see. We'll see. Hopefully that works out. All right. Our trading caravan seems to be arriving safe and sound. No troubles. A uh, wagon train driving to Felfesta, each cart bumbling and tumbling their tall wheels over mounds of dried mud. The caravan hands work to unload the cargo, a few of them fighting off a beggar or two. Namely us, give me monies. Leader of the train hands you a satchel, and that's about all he does. He's too busy with his work to say much more to you. Silence appreciated. Felfesta is now well supplied. I guess that means we can't give them any additional... We can't, we can't sell them uh, items. Plates have been recently supplied with fresh wares, and many of them can now be bought for the right price. Uh, probably especially expensive. Many of the wells probably be cheaper, actually. Let's see. Eh, I think they're kind of pricey still. Cured venison. Yeah, that's two twenty. So I think I found tools supplied for two thirty before. Maybe two twenty is as uh, cheaper when I find it. Well supplied, I guess. Uh, there's more supply than demand. Also, nice looking armor here. Uh, I think we probably should not buy fully repaired armor. Instead, we should go ahead and buy things that are... Oh, this basic male shirt here is better overall armor. It is a fair bit pricier, though. It's really expensive. You gotta stay up on that, I do believe. Another crossbow could be cool. We've seen one-shots uh, with crossbows consistently. Unfortunately, it is 584 money. We are, we're not stable on cash at all. A throwing spear there. A shiny dagger. Really nice things. Wow, flat top helmet. Looking like metal armor finally. But 
all so pricey. I feel like I'm a kid in the toy shop looking at all these things I want but cannot afford. Problem. All right, let's go and buy... I want to buy this tool and supplies just to repair this padded leather. So we're going to do that. Oh, I sold it. I right-clicked it, meaning to set it to uh, repair, and I sold it. Oh, no. I can buy it back for the same price, I think. Or, man, I'm losing a little bit of cash here. Yeah, I think I lost about 80 cash there. But you can't, you can't set things to repair this window. Lesson learned. A costly lesson, but lesson learned anyway. So here, it's right-click and alt to repair. Oh, goodbye money. But if we go to bankruptcy now, it is definitely the fault of that misclick right there, I'm going to say. Okie dokie. What kind of missions do they have for us here? Uh, one that's locked. So the, the, the uh, fortifica fortified cities have locked quests when uh, until you get notice, notice of them. Training hall here. Meaning point for those of fighting profession. Have men trained here and learned from experienced fighters. You can mold them to hardened mercenaries. How pricey is it to get a level up? Um, like 200 money. 200 plus for all of these. For many of them at least. Uh, this is probably pretty good. Sparring fight. Uh, have your men participate in a sparring fight with experienced opponents. The bruise collected will result in a 50% experience gain for next battle. 35% experience gain for 3 battles. Or 5% experience gain for 5 battles. All, right, all seem useful in their own special ways. But for right now, I don't have the money for that. Okay, we got ourselves a mission completed here. Let's hope we have other quests to do, but no luck. Hey, look at that! An ambition fulfilled! Deciding that Tiefen Stott's a good place to invest your efforts, decide to offer protection to your company, and take up any work suitable to your talents. You act like a gentleman in your dealings with locals, and encourage the men to mind their manners while in the settlement. There was, of course, some griping at first. Fritz the dog was sorely disappointed. You have brawling with farmers especially with the babblers spending so much time in Tiefenstadt. You convinced the men that having a friendly base of operations is important in your line of work, as it meant getting better prices on the markets and more um, people willing to join the Motley Band. It's also much less tiring than having to dodge militia all the time. You even enlisted the men to do some small tasks, which for nothing but goodwill, getting cats out of trees and such. I found that little brat who wandered off and dragged him right home. Orc brags, quickly outvied by Thorsman Silkworm, I went to the market for the old spinster, split her firewood for winter, and even put out her washing. But I draw the line at rescuing treed cats. Uh, the company has gained some renown. Fritz the dog is happy. Oh, everyone's kind of happy about this. Everyone loves we got some renown. This will help us. The ambition accomplished. Pull up the relation panel. Um, We're friendly with Tiefenstadt. Great. Now that's the city that is up here. Uh, we'll walk right back there. And uh, see if they have quests for us now. That's pretty, pretty good. Let's see how that goes in the next episode. Thanks for watching. See you again real, real soon.